Hello, this is Joe Pryor, the virtual real estate team in Oklahoma, and it is, let me check my watch, November 4th. Gee, I wonder if anything is happening this week. Well, this is a Monday video I have not done in a while. We have been incredibly busy. We've had personnel changes, a lot of things going on, but let's really look at what this week means to us in real estate and even beyond that. Number one, I'm sure you're aware at Tuesday, tomorrow, there is an election. And that election is going to determine a lot of things. In other words, there's always going to be winners and losers depending on which side wins. Is it going to be a divided Congress? There's a lot of questions that are not going to be answered until later. But what we've seen in this last week before is a lot of volatility. We've seen, you know, the market very uncertain. Uh, polls, as you know, are not necessarily always believable. Uh, and so on one hand, you'll see, oh, this person's up. On the other hand, this person's up. But it affects every segment. There's going to be winners and losers, and hopefully real estate will be one of those because, because of this uncertainty, even though the Fed lowered in September, rates are higher now. Uh, however, some really good stuff has come up lately. Uh, for instance, our, our jobs are not as robust as they have been. They're sti still decent. The growth of the United States is, you know, was a little off what expectations were, but it's double or triple any of the industrialized nations. And so a lot of times, you know, you get these expectations, you don't meet them. And then all of a sudden the market sells off or the 10 year treasury goes the wrong direction. And that is what we're seeing right now. So the uncertainty is the biggest thing. And I think after tomorrow, hopefully we're going to get to something that we can believe in. Now that's one event that's happening. The second event is the Fed. The Fed is meeting on Thursday, the Federal Open Market Committee that sets the interest rates. All expect expectations right now are on the Fed lowering rates. Here's probably the primary thing that the Fed is looking at right now from everything that I've been able to read. Number one, Inflation, total inflation is now 2.1% according to the federal standards. Now, that's just a tick off the 2% that the Fed had wanted to us to achieve, and it was lower than the 24 when they reported the last time. That's number one. That is an excellent reason to go ahead and maybe give a little bit of stimulus to the market. Number two, that the Fed looks at jobs. They wanna make sure that our job creation is as excellent as it can possibly be. And of course, we know that the jobs are good, but not great, uh, at least for the last 30 or 60 days. Now, hurricanes and weather that's going on in the United States has really affected that. But we can expect the Fed to lower. So if we have some degree of certainty about who the winner is tomorrow, if the Fed lowers just even 25 basis points, we'll be part of a continuing lowering, then what we're finally going to go see again is down to that close to 5% with points on a 30-year mortgage for investors. That's what we're hoping to see. And so I'm telling investors right now, hold on till the end of the week. Let's see what's going on with interest rates before you lock anything that you have under contract. My hope is that by Friday, it's gonna look really, really good. Uh, I'll be giving an update uh, next Monday to see if these predictions hold.